what is it about that little island that's produced so much brilliant music? Is it the sufferation? Is it the, you know, the climate? Or is it the weed? Sufferation is weed, 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 climate, 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 climate. Dog music in Prince Island, the American rappers. I don't want to work. Music, 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 music
to have a shadow. You have to find your shadow. Every song could be done. You have to find it done. I don't know when people hear that we're a tech man. And I, I, hope, I hope one day we can use all that and communicate with some of the aliens. Every object have a shadow. You have to find your shadow. Every song could be done. You have to find it done. Every, 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 every object have a shadow. You have to find your shadow. Every song, every could be done, be done, be done, be done, be done. You have to, you have to find the done. I don't know when people hear that we're a tech man. And, and I, I, hope, I hope one day we can use all that and communicate with some of the aliens. Every object, every object, every object, every 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 the music in his time. Thomas was a wizard in electronics. For example, he got from America a Fisher reverb unit that broke, it broke down. So Tubby, who was a trained electronics engineer, fixed it. But he didn't fix it in the Fisher way, he fixed it in the King Tubby way. You know what time we didn't have no machine with these songs. We have to make them all. We have to make our own delay, run a tape delay and pass it back on. He started to develop his sound system, separating the frequencies with the steel horns playing the higher frequencies and mixing tracks, especially to be played on the sound system. We hook up like 12 double 18 and each, each of those speakers is at 1,000 watts per speaker. So you have 12,000 watts just, just, just away. So the bass and drum would be heavy, the most you could cut on a record. And the treble would be sharp, sharp like a knife. And you would hear that in the steel hall, and you could hear that for two or three miles at night. At night, at night, at night. So, so, so they would draw people, draw, draw, because these dancers in Jamaica are in the open, they're not in a hall, they call it dance hall, but there's no hall, it's just a sky. subversive things going on in Jamaica at the time and that of course affects the nature of the music. Many people were killed down there in the 1970s through the politi political civil war in Jamaica and King Tubby's was on the border between two rival areas of political factions. This music is political even without uh, applying lyrics to it, it's the, the politics is already built into the structure of the music and it sounds, you know, it sounds like you want to, when you play heavy dub bass and this heavy rhythm, it sounds like you want to destroy Babylon. These cultures, these cultures like dub and dancehall from so-called ghetto areas prove to be very vibrant, very enduring because they have to work hard to satisfy people in oppressed conditions. They have to take them out of those conditions so they have to be strong to do that. They have to lift people out of their surroundings and make them forget, like Bob Marley said, when the music hits, you feel no pain. You feel no pain. You feel no pain. Click, click, click. 
can do anything with that. Anything you can do all the music then that you used to have before. Um, even you can do rap music in dub as well. Rap dub, pop dub, pop music dub, um, disco music dub. Everything can be dub on it. You come right up down to a normal scene and you start recreating again from where you, from where you start to where you want to take it. Everything, everything. You know, Scratch would just do some different things in the studio. One time he would take a he would take a garbage can, he'd put the microphone in the garbage pan, and then uh, in the middle of the session he'd just go over and whack the garbage pan. And then, you know, get some kind of incredible sound out of that. And keep it in the song, and it would sound great. And he gets a mad sound, and he doesn't care. He doesn't he doesn't care if it if it doesn't sound or crystal clear. He he yeah, he got on his own he did that much bouncing of the tracks that you know, it was it was particularly it sounded like it was you could see that the, the studio's filled with smoke because that's what the end result sounded like. That was smoke. I used to smoke a lot of cigarette, nicotine, ganja and drink a lot of rum. And that not have, did not have the idea that that was the child, my brain child. So when I reached to the Pinnacle, Pinnacle and discovered that most of the dub that I created in Blackout Studio was with alcohol and uh, nicotine and rum, I discovered that um, I was wrong and I repent and burn on the half of the cover and it was not clean enough. It was created by alcohol, nicotine and ganja smoking and then I was creating something that could destroy me and destroy the fans as well. So I repent and start clean again without any smoking, any meat, any ganja, any nicotine and start to create music to save me and my fans. Clean, super clean music, crystal clean. There's the famous cow sound that he had at the Black Ark that a lot of people thought he had actually uh, recorded some cows mooing and apparently Wadi Burnett from the Congos explained he tried to record some cows that were in the fields nearby and the cows would run away when he would go to try and mic them up. So what Perry did was to take uh, the uh, cardboard roll that's like the inside of what you'd use for some paper towels cover it in tin foil, gave it to Wadi Burnett, who has a deep baritone voice, and made him go Mrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr